What is up, everybody? Dr. Bacon of the Dragon Piece here, and we are back. So, last time, we got geared up from a little uh, quick cave expedition, and this time, we're going to try and find a bit of a better cave. Um, now, off camera, I did a couple of things. Actually, not really. All I really did was I went and I went uh, further east, and I killed a bunch of things bunch of pigs and some fishies and I got some more food because we were running really low on food and I didn't feel like spending part of an episode doing that. So now our big goal today is to look for a cave to explore and hopefully find some more valuables than just, uh, well actually I do want more iron because I have my full iron gear and no other iron and I would like some more. I'd like to be able to have some extra stuff for tools and stuff like that for when we get building. So, let's see what we can find. I don't actually remember which direction we went last time. So, I don't know if I've already been this way. Looks like we got that spruce forest over there. I think I've been over here, but I don't think I was looking for caves at that point. Oh, I heard a zombie. Oh. Oh, hello. Looks like this is something. Unless it's what we're looking for. Oh, oh no. That's not great. Okay, we're fine. Hello. You... Nope, you are not friendly. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm not gonna bother too much with coal. Because I got a lot less episode, I've got almost a stack. But I'll go ahead and get a little bit more. Just so we can hopefully make up for the torches we'll use in this cave. Yeah, okay, that's plenty. We will leave it at that. Alright. Let's see where... Ooh, we've got some iron. We've got spitter somewhere. This looks promising. Doesn't mean it'll actually go anywhere, but it does look promising. So I apologize for how short last episode was. I uh, I really thought I'd have gone on longer. I had, like I said, I had those like extra five minutes of recording and I hadn't actually stopped. I just stopped talking and went back to my house and then uh, started again. And on top of that, with cutting out the coal mining and stuff, I ended the episode with the recording being about uh, like 25, almost 30 minutes and then edited it down and it was like 16, which, Compared to my normal episode length, which is, which is like between 20 to 30 minutes. I know that was a little short, but... Oh! The sound is a little loud. Maybe that's just me. Okay. This is looking less promising. Again, more iron. I'm not going to complain about that. But I'd like this to go somewhere, so I'm not having to crawl back out and find another cave. I normally have really good luck with uh, with world gen and ooh. Well. Now hold on a second. We will we will deal with you in a minute. Oh, I hear a skeleton. Oh! He's actually there. I thought he was down there. Okay, I need a new pickaxe. Eh, uh, actually, I will go ahead and use my iron one just to make it quicker. Because I've already gotten a fair bit of iron. We'll go ahead and make another one. Actually, we... yeah. Whatever. Uh, oop. <laughs> okay. Does this go anywhere? It doesn't look like it. No, okay. But maybe that little passageway will have something. I'm not giving up hope yet. Not giving up hope yet. I just want to find something cool, you know? Like, getting resources, I'm never going to complain about getting resources. I'm never going to complain about coming home with a stack of iron or something like that, but you know, an abandoned mine shaft, dungeon, just a really big cavern, something like that. Something so it's not so, uh, 
so grindy. Okay, ow. Something please, please, something please, please. Uh, that's sort of something. I mean, it is something, it's just not what I had in mind. I hear a skeleton up there, and I don't want to get ambushed. Oh? Oh! Hold on. Oh! I don't know how I want to deal with this. Okay, hold on. Oh! My game just, like, froze for a second there. Ah! I'm really bad at this. There we go. Just kind of 360 shot him in the face. That was cool. I hear another one. Uh. Hmm. Ooh. There may be more to this cave than I was giving it credit for. Let's see what's up there first before we move on. Make sure we're not missing anything amazing. By the way, something I, I, I haven't mentioned. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm using a good old-fashioned Faithful um, for 1.16 point... I think this is still 1.16.1. I don't know if anything was actually added. I don't I don't look at update change logs. Um, so I don't know if anything was actually added between 1.16.1 and 0.4. Um, so if it was, let me know and I'll go download the more recent version of the pack because I think... Yeah, I'm on, I'm on, I'm actually just on plane 1.16, so, uh, but anyway, the reason I brought that up is because this is the pack that I use for most Minecraft, I just like it, it's just, it's just Minecraft, but slightly higher res, but not like the crazy, ridiculous, photorealistic stuff, um, but if there's any packs you guys want me to try out, maybe just for a couple episodes or anything like that, let me know in the comments, um, because I'm always willing to change things up a little bit. Uh, the only thing would be anything super crazy, like uh, anything that totally changes certain textures, either will have to be very short term or long term because they can kind of ruin or make builds. Uh, like the ones that, that turn like different kinds of wool into looking like different kinds of woodworking and stuff like that. Um, they're really cool, but if you build something with them and then get rid of it, it looks kind of hideous, and vice versa. So, yeah, I'm always open to suggestions of texture packs, or I'm, I'm hesitant about saying mods, but I really don't know where the series is going to go, so please, 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 leave any suggestions and ideas in the comments. Doesn't mean I'm going to do everything, but I'm, I'm always open to ideas. And this looks... Still, maybe promising? I'm honestly not sure. Gotten a lot of iron, which is good. But I'm not sure this is quite as exciting as I thought it was going to be. This cave's just been very up and down. <laughs> like, I, I thought it was going to be next to nothing, and then it kind of had something, and then it dead-ended, and then a single vein of iron or something gave me more promise, and now it's it's just it's just up and down. Uppity down and stuff. Uh, there's something down there. I'll go this way first. I hear a lot of skeletons. Which is not ideal. I'll be honest. I don't know where they are, though. That's the end of that. There's so much coal. Not gonna get it, but there's just so much. Is this gonna dead end, too? I mean, I know there's a cave around here somewhere, so I may have to do some digging. Um, actually, you know what? Just in case we do get down to lava level, I think I'll go ahead and grab that. Uh, oh! Because it just might save my butt. In a, in a pinch. Come on. Come on. I don't actually remember uh, if fish and mutton are 
um, three or two and a half. So apologies if it's three and I keep wasting them, but I just want to be safe. Although I know for the S&P, I think it was the S&P, it may have been a different series. I, for the first several episodes, because I misunderstood saturation, um, continually, or saturation regeneration, continually would eat with half a hunger less than something filled. So I would eat pork with only three and a half missing because I thought that's what gave you the extra regeneration. And I'm pretty sure I ticked a lot of people off that way. You're a baby zombie. I just hear a lot of things. I don't know where they are. All the sounds. Don't know where they're coming from. We've already got almost a stack and a half of iron, so that's good. The caves in general just seem to be way more filled with ore than they used to be. Now again, maybe my view is perspective because I'm bouncing between current Minecraft and Alpha, but even then, like, I haven't played Minecraft really actively in survival since, like, the early days of full release, like, 1.7.10, 1.8, early 1.9. It's pretty much the last times that I played actively on my own time. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh. That could have... Really? They were all just sitting right there. Just, just hanging out. I hear more of them. Yeah, I just remember once upon a time getting a whole stack of iron being a huge deal, and now it's just kind of like, if you're down in the cave long enough, it's got- Ooh, we got gold. How low are we? Whoa. I did not realize how far down we'd actually gone. I didn't think we were that deep. This... This is dangerous. I need a block. I need a block on me. Um... a lot of gold. Hmm. It's a very wide open cave, but I'm not seeing anything really, uh, really special here. Like, I'm not seeing any lava, despite how deep we are. We got gold, which means we're at where we're approaching the level for the good stuff. Um, meaning everything but gold, basically. Diamond, lapis, redstone, I'm open to anything right now. Right. Oh, oh, geez. I thought I was gonna make that jump, and someone said no. Oh. Ooh. Come on. Get back. Okay. All right. I guess it wouldn't have mattered since that just wraps around. I'm just glad that creeper wasn't sitting down next to him because that would have uh. That would have been bad. levels mixed up, but I feel like we should be seeing some lava or something. Getting all this gold and really not much else. I hear water. This is a strange cave. Let's see what's this way. 
Nothing. Well, maybe. Okay, basically nothing. I hear water. I hear things, but nothing's actually showing itself. Something this way? Ah! Aha! Yeah. So that's the cool stuff I wanted. Only problem is I hate ravines. <laughs> A lot. Um, I've always hated ravines because the fear of something dropping on you is is terrifying. Um, it always has been. Then I learned the hard way. So, oh, 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 oh. Okay. I learned the hard way that, uh, that creepers can start fusing when they're within one block of you, even if they're a long ways above you. So if you're on the floor of a ravine, a creeper can jump down and explode the instant it hits the ground. No time to react, no time to hit it away or back away or do anything. It just, it's like a bomb, just boom. You're dead. So I don't like ravines very much. Um, I also don't like that. Where did he go? That's not, that's not great. That is, that is really not ideal. Okay, well we're starting at the top, which is good. I don't particularly care to try and get all the resources. I just want to try and minimize the chance of something falling on my face. This mine shaft looks really weird. There's a lot of wood and not a lot of anything else. I don't know if that's just me. It's a very strange looking mine shaft. Is that a cave up here? Yeah, yeah see? Creepers that like, came down there. Ooh, there's some redstone. Looking for anything. Ooh, there's a cave spider spawner. Okay, well, I asked for an exciting cave and I got what I wanted. Oh, and. Ooh, I will absolutely take it. A golden apple. Awesome. Um, I don't really care for pumpkin seeds. I think I have pumpkins. I'll get minecart rails for sure. I'll get like one stack of them. And then we'll leave it at that. Also, actually, yes, hold on. I didn't realize I killed enough spiders. I was complaining about not having a lot of string earlier. Um, but now I have enough to actually make a bow that won't snap on me. It's very quiet now, which makes me very nervous. I really do not want to get bombed. That's what I'm trying to avoid. <gasps> that was dumb. That was really dumb and risky. And I'm lucky I didn't get shot out of the air like last time. Would have been a very interesting foreshadowing to my demise. Okay, how much iron do I have? Stack and a half almost. And I'm not going to stop getting it, but maybe not go out of my way to get stuff that's up on high walls. Oh, now I hear lava. I hear a lot of stuff now. This is a very strange cave. Like, one, like it just, it's just on and off between dead boring and full of stuff, or like full of excitement. Um... Eerily silent and just full of noises. It's a very, very strange cave. Moving away from the mine shaft, or trying to, for the normal cave for now. It's just so dark. Like, we're, we're low, and I don't think I've seen almost any lava except for in the ravine. 
Did they change that? Is that... Like, I say that a lot. I know, it probably gets really annoying that I know nothing about Minecraft's development history. Well, okay. Not true. I know nothing about the past, like, five years of Minecraft's development history. Uh, oh. Okay. Hi. Oh. What? Did anyone else just see that? What is happening? What is happening? Why are arrows going through him? Anyone else notice that? No? Just me? What the heck? Oh jeez, I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get so lost. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, hi. Okay. That one hit. Come on. Oh, whatever, fine. Oh. Oh! I'm glad I wasn't standing there, alright. Okay, well, I guess we're not going that way, and I'm not minding that. No, thank you. Alright, let's go this way. Actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know that I could have gotten out of that with very easily if I had actually been in there. Oop, is that a dungeon? That's a dungeon. That's an actual dungeon in an abandoned mine shaft. The question is, is it another zombie spawner or is it something else? Oh, I think it's a skeleton spawner. Uh, no, it's another zombie spawner. Huh. Alright then. Literally... Is this a thing? Is this a thing that happens now? Dungeons perfectly built in to mine shafts? Wow. Alright then. It's cool. Uh, we got more saddles. I'm gonna have to leave them here, honestly. And actually, you know what I might want to do... I might actually want to make a base out of this, because I'm getting pretty full on my inventory. And I do not want to surface now, now that we've actually found some really cool stuff. Um, I think I might really want to make a base. Um, a. Oh, okay. You know what? This is getting really annoying. Like, are the hitboxes different? Like, what? Um, I don't want to go up, um, and I also want to, like, be able to come back if I die, but I also don't know that I really want to sleep down here. Um, you know what, what the heck, we're gonna make a base here. This is a really, really cool cave that I almost added several times, and that I got really lucky with, because, let's be frank, like... This cave had every reason to, like, like, it had several points where it was just, like, dead-ending into nothingness. Um, but no, it turned out to be good. We're running a little low on wood, which is okay, because we are in a mine shaft. It's not every day you see a dungeon made into a house, or... Actually, maybe it is, I don't know. It's not every day that I make a dungeon into a house, let's put it that way. We'll go ahead and make a chest. And let's put a bunch of stuff in here. Because I am not ready to go to the surface. I think this is really promising. I think we might find some diamond or something else down here. We still have a lot of food. We still have a lot of supplies. Oh, yes. I love that sound. We still have all a lot of supplies and stuff. But... Uh, I just, uh, inventory space. <laughs> inventory space is the issue. So, got a little base here. Okay. That was, that is really close. Oh, hi. Oh, 
hide. Yeah, they'll probably spawn in here, actually, if I'm not careful. Yeah, I think with our little base set up in this very strange cave. Um, like, I'm sure it's not that strange by, by most people's standards, but it's just, like, inconsistent. <laughs> like, it had so many almost dead ends and actual dead ends that were then corrected by a single, uh, a single vein leading to something else. And now we're in the heart of an abandoned mine shaft, and I'm not really sure how we got here. But yeah, we will pick this up next time. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, like I said, leave any suggestions you have in the comments, any, any other feedback you want. And anyway, this is Dr. Bacon, and I will see you all later.